Buoyed by the success of the Emerging Entrepreneurs 2010 Awards, CII holistically scaled up the 2011 awards in terms of extension of geographies, nomenclature and repertoire of industry verticals and the sheer size of the participants. From being Tamil Nadu specific in 2010, the Emerging Entrepreneurs Awards 2011 spread out to participants from across the states of Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu which constitutes the southern part of India. The Emerging Entrepreneurship Award is a way for CII to recognize fast-growing small companies in the south. The range of verticals chosen were as diverse in span, varying from telecom, travel and tourism, hospitality, IT and ITES, heavy engineering to media and entertainment, food and beverage, healthcare and pharma, covering almost the entire gamut of the manufacturing and service sectors. In this context, we envisage this award where we would recognize and encourage entrepreneurs by showing that there are many success stories in India, they can be replicated. As many as 200 applications were received and 36 entries were shortlisted for the final round of scrutiny. Besides Grant Thornton, the leading professional services firm, Business Line, the respected business daily who partnered CII in this lofty venture, designed an elaborate questionnaire and the 36 candidates were interviewed and videographed and presented to an eminent jury constituted of India's leading industrialists, successful entrepreneurs, headed by its chairman, Mr. N. Kumar. I'm privileged and happy to be the chairman for the second time for the a CII Entrepreneur Awards. This time we've taken it from a state level to a regional level. The other members of this august jury included names like Mr. S. Gopalakrishnan, Mr. T. Kannan, Mr. P. K. Mohapatra, Mr. T. T. Ashok, Mr. Gopal Srinivasan, Mr. C. K. Ranganathan, Mr. S. Chandrasekhar, Mr. R. Ramaraj and Mr. K. Venugopal. Meeting at the boardroom at the CII Chennai premises on the 23rd of February 2012, the jury carefully scrutinized each candidate, basing their judgments on the parameters of innovativeness of the venture, scalability of the project, the uniqueness and approach in technology, besides financial feasibility, credibility, and its ability and value in improving the quality of human life. So I believe that these awards do three different things. The first is that they very rightfully recognize these entrepreneurs and give them that rocket fuel of public recognition to go higher, faster, swifter. The second is they become role models. And the third reason is so recognizing small businesses, finding out what makes them succeed, what makes them tick, as well as what help they need is very, very important to the very core ethic of CII. The aspect of the project being environment friendly also played a predominant part in the choice of the winners. The competition was intense and close. The jurors had a tough job choosing the winners. Like what C.K. Prahalad said, there is a lot of wealth in the bottom of the pyramid and that's where the Indian entrepreneurship is moving. After hours of deep deliberation, in-depth analysis, careful consideration and comfortable consensus, the jury chose five prestigious participants for the coveted CII Emerging Entrepreneurs Awards 2011. I feel that uh, we did a very good job. This is really to encourage entrepreneurs to do better. The best who represent and signify what is good about entrepreneurship. And may these entrepreneurs truly give the nation the economic freedom. And next year, we should be seeing this uh, 200 applicants go to not less than 500. As the curtain falls on the 2011 awards, the 2012 awards version promises to be even greater.